As a professional ice hockey player, Derek Sanderson is well known in sports. Sanderson's skill and perseverance on the ice won over admirers worldwide during his career. Sanderson's net worth shows his business expertise and entrepreneurial zeal. In this post, WC Networth explores Derek Sanderson's net worth and impact outside athletics. Join us as we explore Sanderson's wealth and the amazing story of an athlete turned savvy investor. What is Derek Sanderson's net worth and salary in 2023? As of 2023, Derek Sanderson, a former professional hockey player who is now a financial advisor, is worth $2 million. Throughout his NHL career, Sanderson earned a total of $2,184,486, which is equivalent to $14,394,853 in today's dollars. This places him at rank number 2627 in terms of NHL career earnings. In 1972, he signed a lucrative $2.65 million deal with the Philadelphia Blazers of the World Hockey Association, WA. This made him one of the highest paid athletes at the time. After struggling financially and personally, Sanderson became a successful financial counselor for sports and high net worth individuals. Derek Sanderson's Overview Early Life Derek Sanderson was born in Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada, on June 16, 1946. He was a good ice hockey player who grew up in a lower middle class home. His father, Harold Sanderson, a Canadian Army private, and his mother, Caroline Hall Gillespie, supported his passion for hockey from a young age. Derek's father got him his first pair of skates at three years old and taught him how to skate on a backyard rink he built. This rink, which spanned two backyards, became a gathering place for neighborhood kids, with Derek's mother serving hot chocolate during breaks. As Derek honed his skills, he played junior hockey with the Niagara Falls Flyers of the Ontario Hockey Association, earning accolades and eventually signing with the Boston Bruins in 1965. Despite facing numerous challenges throughout his career, including addiction and financial struggles, Derek Sanderson persevered and became a two-time Stanley Cup champion, leaving a lasting impact on professional ice hockey. Career. Nicknamed Turk, Sanderson's career began with the Niagara Falls Flyers of the Ontario Hockey Association, where he earned accolades such as being named to the second All-Star team in 1965-66 and the first All-Star team in 1966-67. He also won the Eddie Powers Memorial Trophy as the top scorer in the OHA during the 1966-67 season. Sanderson signed with the Boston Bruins in 1965-66 and made his professional debut that same season. He won the Rookie of the Year Calder Memorial Trophy in 1967-68 with 24 goals and 49 points in 71 games. Throughout his 13-season NHL career, Sanderson played for five teams, amassing 202 goals, 250 assists, 911 penalty minutes, and a plus 141 rating in 598 games. In 1972, Sanderson left the Boston Bruins to sign a $2.65 million contract with the now-defunct Philadelphia Blazers, making him the highest-paid athlete in the world at that time. But his time with the Blazers didn't last long. After two seasons, he returned to the Bruins and was sold to the New York Rangers. Sanderson's career turned downward due to recurring knee and alcohol problems, which led to him bouncing from team to team, including stints with the St. Louis Blues, Vancouver Canucks, and Pittsburgh Penguins. Despite his personal struggles, Sanderson made significant contributions to the hockey world, including setting a then-record for career short-handed goals and helping to remove the reserve clause system from all NHL contracts. This change paved the way for free agency in the NHL, giving players more freedom to negotiate with other teams and increase their pay. After retiring from professional hockey, Sanderson became a sports broadcaster and later organized the professionals group at State Street Global Advisors, where he served as director of the sports group, providing financial advice to athletes in the 1990s. In 2012, he became the managing director of the sports group in Boston, working with athletes and high net worth individuals. Sanderson's life and career have been chronicled in two autobiographies, I've Got to Be Me, 1970, and Crossing the Line, The Outrageous Story of a Hockey Original, 2012. Personal Life Off the ice, Sanderson's good looks and easy-going manner made him a sex symbol during the fledgling sexual revolution. 
He dated Playboy bunnies, owned nightclubs with Joe Namath, and appeared on late-night TV talk shows. However, his fortune and fame took a toll on his personal life. Sanderson struggled with alcohol and drug addiction, leading to several rehab stints and hitting rock bottom when he was found sleeping on a bench in Central Park. In April 1979, he married Rhonda Rapport, a former Playboy bunny from Chicago, but their son, Scott Leslie Sanderson, tragically died at birth in 1981, and the couple separated soon after. With the help of friends, family, and an alcohol counselor, Sanderson eventually turned his life around, becoming sober and dedicating himself to helping young athletes avoid the pitfalls he faced. Why is Derek Sanderson famous? Derek Sanderson is famous for his exceptional career as a professional ice hockey player. Known for his skill, tenacity, and fearlessness on the ice, Sanderson was a force to be reckoned with during his playing days. He gained prominence as a member of the Boston Bruins, playing a key role in their Stanley Cup victory in 1970. Sanderson's popularity also stemmed from his colorful personality and off-ice endeavors. He became an influential figure in the sports world, appearing in commercials, hosting television shows, and delving into business ventures. Sanderson's fame extends beyond his playing career, solidifying his status as a legendary figure in ice hockey and leaving a lasting impact on the sport and its fans. FAQs about Derek Sanderson. Who was the first hockey player to make $1 million? Bobby Hull was the first million-dollar hockey player. Did Derek Sanderson have any children? Derek Sanderson and his wife Rhonda Rapport had a son, Scott Leslie Sanderson, who died at birth on October 4, 1981, in Niagara Falls. What happened to Derek Sanderson after his hockey career? Derek Sanderson made many bad investments, lost millions of dollars, battled substance abuse, and ended up penniless and sleeping on a park bench. He was helped by Bobby Orr and entered rehab. Sanderson is now the managing director of the sports group in Boston, Massachusetts. Derek Sanderson's net worth is a testament to his extraordinary ice hockey career and subsequent success in business ventures. It stands as a symbol of his enduring legacy and remarkable impact in the sports world. Sanderson's journey is a unique story of talent, determination, and entrepreneurial spirit that has left an indelible mark on the industry. Finally, Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and follow us on WC Networth channel to learn more interesting information about celebrities.